The story of the F-14 Tomcat is one of aviation legend, a tale that blends Cold War urgency, cutting-edge engineering, and a dash of Hollywood glamour. Few aircraft have managed to carve out such a lasting place in both military history and popular culture. Developed as a supersonic twin-engine variable geometry wing fighter for the US Navy, the F-14 was not just another fighter. It became the very symbol of American naval aviation from the 1970s through the early 2000s. To understand its significance, one has to look at the context in which it was created, the unique features that made it stand out, and how it compared with other American aircraft of its time. In the late 1960s, the US Navy found itself in need of a long-range fleet defense interceptor. Earlier efforts, like the ill-fated F-111B, had attempted to merge Air Force and Navy requirements into a single aircraft, but that experiment had proven disastrous. The F-111B was too heavy, too slow in maneuverability, and unsuitable for carrier operations. The Navy needed something faster, more agile, and capable of protecting carrier strike groups against Soviet bombers and long-range cruise missiles. The result of that search was the F-14 Tomcat, developed by Grumman Aerospace. From its very first flight in 1970, the F-14 was unlike anything else in the skies. Its variable geometry wings, often called swing wings, gave it an unmistakable silhouette. These wings could sweep back to 68 degrees for high-speed supersonic flight or extend forward to 20 degrees for lower speeds and improved maneuverability such as during dogfights or carrier landings. This adaptability allowed the Tomcat to perform missions ranging from interception and fleet defense to dogfighting and precision strike. Another defining feature of the F-14 was its powerful radar. The AN-AWG-9 paired with the AIM-54 Phoenix missile system. This combination gave the Tomcat the ability to track up to 24 targets simultaneously and engage six of them at ranges of up to 100 miles, capabilities that were unmatched at the time. This long reach meant the Tomcat could destroy incoming threats long before they reached the carrier group, cementing its role as a guardian of the seas. The F-14 was also powered by two engines. Initially, the Pratt & Whitney TF-30s, which, though powerful, had their shortcomings. They were prone to compressor stalls at high angles of attack, which caused problems for pilots in dogfights. Later versions of the Tomcat were equipped with the far superior General Electric F-110 engines, which significantly improved performance, reliability, and thrust-to-weight ratio. With the upgraded engines, the Tomcat could reach speeds of Mach 2.3 and climb with much more authority, making it one of the fastest and most capable fighters of its era. Its cockpit design was another hallmark. Unlike single-seat fighters such as the F-16, the F-14 carried a two-person crew, a pilot and a radar intercept officer. This division of labor allowed the pilot to focus on flying while the RIO managed the radar, sensors, and weapon systems. The teamwork between pilot and RIO became legendary, giving the Tomcat a unique character compared to other US fighters. The Tomcat's combat record was impressive though not as extensive as some of its contemporaries. It was never deployed in massive numbers like the F-16, nor was it a mainstay of the Air Force like the F-15. Instead, its combat history centered on US Navy operations and the Iran-Iraq War, where Iranian F-14s, delivered before the 1979 revolution, scored dozens of kills against Iraqi aircraft. These Iranian Tomcats proved just how lethal the combination of the AWG-9 radar and the AIM-54 Phoenix missile could be, with some engagements taking place at ranges unheard of in aerial combat at the time. When compared to its US contemporaries, the Tomcat held a very special place. The F-15 Eagle, introduced around the same time, was designed primarily as an air superiority fighter. It had phenomenal maneuverability superior thrust-to-weight ratio, and was unmatched in dogfights. However, it lacked the long-range fleet defense role that defined the F-14. The Eagle was the undisputed king of the skies for the Air Force, but the Tomcat's ability to project naval power over the oceans made it indispensable for the Navy. Then there was the F-A-18 Hornet, which entered service in the 1980s as a smaller, more versatile multi-role aircraft. 
While the Hornet was cheaper to operate and far more flexible in strike missions, it lacked the sheer speed, radar range, and missile capabilities of the Tomcat. Essentially, the Hornet could do more things, but none of them as impressively as the Tomcat could in its specialized role. This trade-off would eventually lead to the Hornet and its successor, the Super Hornet, replacing the F-14 in Navy service, largely because of cost and maintenance considerations. What made the F-14 so iconic, beyond its capabilities, was its image. The aircraft became a cultural phenomenon thanks to the 1986 film Top Gun, where Tom Cruise's character, Maverick, made the F-14 a symbol of speed, danger, and charisma. Suddenly, the Tomcat wasn't just a fighter jet, it was a star. Recruitment for the US Navy spiked following the release of the movie, with young men and women eager to join the ranks of naval aviators and get close to the aircraft they saw on the silver screen. Yet, despite its legendary status, the Tomcat was not without flaws. Its maintenance demands were enormous. The variable geometry wings and complex avionics systems required extensive upkeep. For every hour the Tomcat flew, it often required dozens of man-hours of maintenance. This high operational cost eventually became unsustainable, especially as the Navy sought more cost-effective solutions in the post-Cold War era. By the early 2000s, the Tomcat was phased out, with the last squadron retiring in 2006, replaced by the FA-18EF Super Hornet. Still, the Tomcat's impact on aviation cannot be overstated. It represented an era when aircraft were designed with a singular purpose in mind, when engineers pushed the limits of what was possible with radar, weapons, and aerodynamics. Its unique combination of speed, range, firepower, and carrier capability gave the US Navy a fighter unlike any other in the world. Comparing the Tomcat to modern aircraft like the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Lightning II highlights just how far technology has come. The F-22, with its stealth capabilities, supercruise, and advanced avionics, represents a new generation of air dominance. The F-35, designed as a versatile multi-role stealth fighter, offers network-centric warfare capabilities the Tomcat could never match. Yet, in many ways, the Tomcat was ahead of its time. Its long-range radar-guided missile engagements foreshadowed the beyond-visual-range combat that is now the norm. Its emphasis on multi-crew cooperation lives on in platforms like the F-15E Strike Eagle and Advanced Bombers. Even today, the Tomcat retains a passionate following among aviation enthusiasts veterans, and historians. Restored F-14s at museums and air shows draw crowds eager to see the jet that once ruled the skies. For those who flew it, the Tomcat remains unforgettable, not just for its capabilities, but for the feeling of raw power it delivered. Pilots often recall the thrill of afterburners lighting up as the swing wings folded back, propelling the jet into supersonic speeds. In retrospect, the F-14 Tomcat was more than just a fighter. It was a symbol of American power projection during the Cold War, a technological marvel of its time, and an aircraft that captured imaginations around the world. While its operational career may have ended, its legacy continues in the DNA of modern fighters and in the memories of those who saw it in action. When measured against its American peers, the F-14 was not the most maneuverable. That ground went to the F-15. It was not the cheapest to operate. That title belonged to the F-16 and later the F-A-18. But in terms of charisma, range, versatility in naval operations, and sheer iconic status, no other aircraft comes close. The Tomcat was a Navy jet that became a global legend. The enduring fascination with the Tomcat lies in its contradictions. It was both a highly specialized fleet defender and a surprisingly versatile multi-role fighter. It was technologically advanced, yet plagued by maintenance headaches. It was phased out for practical reasons, yet remains celebrated as irreplaceable. That duality is why it remains a subject of study and admiration today. Ultimately, the F-14 Tomcat defined an era of naval aviation. It bridged the gap between the brute force designs of the Cold War and the stealth-focused fighters of today. It stood as a protector of carriers, a fearsome adversary in the skies, and an icon of American engineering. 
Even though it no longer flies in U.S. service, the Tomcat remains a timeless reminder of what happens when necessity, innovation, and ambition converge in one unforgettable machine. What are your thoughts on the F-14 Tomcat? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.